Hello everyone, welcome to ET Studios, and today we are having a look at the C-130 on the Space Engineers Workshop, and it's a pretty cool design. We're going to have a little run-through and a little bit of a flight and see what it's all about. So here we are at the left-hand entrance to the aircraft, and as you can see we've got two engines on the side which are actually on rotors, which doesn't look particularly safe, but we'll figure that out later. And I, I must admit these stairs don't work perfectly, but... Uh, with a little bit of effort, you can get up them. Here we are in the really cool looking little cockpit. We've got our seat side here, as well as two cockpits for pilots. And if you walk back here, we've got some other uh, side doors over here, as well as the main entrance at the back for loading cargo. So let's close that up. And yeah, I mean, we can turn on the lights back here, make it all red, which is quite cool. And we've got a whole bunch of little buttons. Um, oh, these are little... Okay, cool. So we've got doors for like jumping out of the plane and stuff. Which is cool. I mean, having jetpacks is quite helpful for that. Um, and then, yeah, let's close up that. Which also turns off a light, which is quite cool. And let's see what all the timers do as well. So here we go. We've got a timer to start the engines. And presumably, yes, so timer to turn off the brakes. There we go. And now we can start flying. It has normal space engineer, space engineer controls. And here we are. No mods are required to run this, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't even require any DLC, which is quite nice. And yeah, there we go. We can press number three. And four. Don't know what three does actually, um, but I know that four retracts the landing gear, which is quite cool. And here we go. So, in fact, I think three may have done the yeah. There we go. Flaps, which is cool. That's another little added bit of realism. So this would be quite cool to use in a little machinima or something like that because you have actual real-looking elements like those flaps. The propellers are pretty cool, they're actually spinning quite nicely and don't appear to have any issues relating to the performance of the aircraft, which rotors usually have. So let's have a look and see if we can do a quick crash test. I'm going to shut down those propellers. Oh, and I'll actually do shut down the main engines as well, that's quite cool. We'll start them up again quick so I can fly a little bit better. But that's quite cool. So if you shut down the propellers, it also shuts down your main engines. Shuts down all of them, in fact. You still have a bit of gyroscope control, but that makes sense, because if you're gliding, you would have a little bit of control of the flaps. And... There we go. Not too bad. Uh, not the best crash in the world, but pretty cool. Let's open the back door here. And we can inspect the damage. So it looks like a bit of a clang may be involved here, because when you crash things with rotors, it's not usually the best thing to do in the world. But overall, not too much damage, and I think you could definitely have a crew of people who would survive that crash, so that's quite nice to know. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this design, and I'd highly recommend checking it out in the description below. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. But otherwise, here's been your super quick little C-130 review from the Space Engineers Workshop. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.